The following program will contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. intro right here on <laughs> Reality Radio 101. Hey. So you're there already, buddy. What the <laughs> hell was that? I have no idea. Am I, am I already live? Yeah. Well, I don't have the on-air lights, so I don't know if I am or not. All right, now it's official. <laughs> what happened? What the fuck happened? <laughs> What's on that CD? Oh, come on, you got to give me a little intro at least. <laughs> All right. Go for it. Go right, for it. Listen, this is different. Okay. All right, folks, you're listening to the Del Morgado Show, I think. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk to him, sure. 905 725 1907. Toll free in North America, 1 866 905 7325. Worldwide, 1 866 656 5477. Or, I think, I think, you can email him right now, Del. Del, what's your name? Del, Del. Del. Oh, Reality yes. Radio 101 at yahoo.com. Dot com. Now you can start your regular <laughs> All right. Here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Del, and you're listening to the Del Margato Show right here on Reality Radio 101. What the fuck happened, Gary? Ah, oh, you bastard. What I are you doing? Know. I, all of a sudden, I... Uh, oh, my God, man. No, my you know ears are bleeding. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I think the pre the preamps on the uh, those channels for uh-huh. the CD yeah. were... Uh, there was some maintenance done on the board today. Oh. I think well, you those got that guys, fixed. No, nothing's fixed. Oh. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> no, no. What happened was, yeah. I, I think um, the guys left the preamps up too high, and I didn't Holy check them. Holy shit, dude. That, like, like, that was beyond distortion, man. That yeah, was okay. like, you know... That's right. It reminded me of my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> you can always dump that in, though, right? Oh, no, don't worry. I'm, yeah. I'm covered, man. Yeah, the video's good to go, buddy. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you, man? How's everybody out there? I'm feeling gravy. Yeah, actually, I'm full of shit. I'm tired, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> you know, you look tired. I you am, bro. Oh, my God. You but you know tired. what's funny is um, I was actually thinking about this today. Uh, whenever I, Whenever the show kicks in, whenever the music kicks in, yeah. I kick in. So for some reason, I just switch on. You know, and it's just so surreal because, like, I remember there's been a couple of times where I've come in and I'm not really 100% and whatnot. I think that pretty much goes for a lot of the broadcasters, not just me. But as soon as the music kicks in and I hear that boom, boom, not today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely that, not today. That just fucked me right up. Wow. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, yes, that was. was easy, yes. yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, so sorry about that. No, no, no. There's but no need to apologize. You fucked up. It's all good. <laughs> no, I don't fuck up, man. That's, uh, no, yeah. Gary is perfect. He never fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. Yes. All right. So you're tired. I even offered you a beer. Yeah, but beer will make me even more tired. Worse, bro. right? Oh, buddy, that'll yeah. make me worse. Yeah. yeah. And it's like I got to drive home too. So it's like I'm going to be on the. A couple of weeks ago, you know, we had those beers. Actually, the whiskey. Remember the that was even worse. Yeah. When we had the whiskey that one night, and I was driving home, and buddy, I was struggling. I'm there driving, and all the, I'm like crashing out at the wheel. And you know what? I actually had you an uncle. Watch that, man. I do. I you had an uncle who saying? passed away because of that. So what do you I mean? gotta be very careful. He uh, accident or yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, he used to be a salesperson, and uh, he was kind of, um, I guess, like door to door kind of sales. Yeah. And uh, he was driving, and he trying to sell your crappy video tapes. Not me. Oh, right. <laughs> he wasn't selling yeah. anything yeah, for right. me. But uh, I think he used to work for a water um, company. Like this was back when the filtering started to come into play. Yeah. So he uh, he crashed into. You know how the highways. Um, kind of cut off, or not highways, but you know those streets that you. Are go you and got in a car accident? Is what you're telling pretty me? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So was he, he uh, drunk? No. He no, fell asleep. He just fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah, you don't want so, that. Yeah, I All definitely right. don't want that. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So let me let me do it. Let me do it better for you. All right, folks, you're listening to oh. the Dell. 
the Dell Morgado Show right here, Reality Radio 101. We already got that covered. And here's the deal. Let me give out the numbers. All right, go for it, dude. If you'd like to talk to Dell, and I don't know why the hell you would. I don't know either, man. But uh, it's 905. That's our local number here. 905-725-1907. Toll free in North America, 1-866-905-7325. You know, Um, I I don't want to sound gay or anything. Yeah. But you sound awesome. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Go and, ahead. Go uh, ahead. If, you're, if, you're, uh, if you're listening across the pond, you know yes. what I mean by that. I know exactly what you, you know, mean. You know the ocean. Right? You know about my friends. Yes. You know those guys. We have a special <laughs> number for everywhere yes. else in the world. one 656 5477 Or you can email Dell right now. That's right. We're not kidding. No. Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. That's right. And Gary will pick up all the emails. <laughs> yep. So, so sorry about that. Uh, and we do have worldwide listeners. We have a lot of worldwide yeah. listeners, actually. I don't know I why mean, that, we do, but. I, yeah. You know, what's funny is, though, is right now over across the, across the pond, yeah. it's probably like early morning. So somebody well, It sitting, depends where you are. I guess. But in, in Portugal, which is where the listeners came from before. Yeah. Uh, I kind of lost the Portuguese audience for a little while there, but then they wow. came back, and then they kind of, you know. But, it, like, they'd be listening at, like, 2 in the morning. <laughs> so right after they're done drinking or partying or whatever, they come home, they're like, hey, uh, let's listen to the Del Morgado show. Wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, before we kick it in, I just want to send out a special thanks to my guests last week, James Bade and Corrado Rizza. They were an uh, awesome team up there, and they're the two men that are in charge of the upcoming event this weekend. Some bitch, it's this weekend, eh? How time flies. I'm not even prepared. I know. I, I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to bring except for myself. I know I'm bringing that for sure. But uh, it's this weekend, October 26th and 27th at the Daniels Spectrum. Let's do an ad. I'm doing it. No, I mean a, a, an ad. You want to play the ad? You yeah, want to play the official one? Fuck it. Yeah, right, let's, let's do, do it. Let's do that. Okay? Since we fucked everything else up. Let's okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me catch my breath. Okay, right. go, go. Are you a geek? Do you live the geekdom lifestyle? If you stated yes, then Unplug 2, a weekend of awesome, is just for you. That's right. Join geeks from around the world at the Daniel Spectrum Center in downtown Toronto, Ontario to attend the most talked about geek expo in the world, period. Saturday, October 26th and Sunday, October 27th. Be sure to be at the Daniel Spectrum Center located in downtown Toronto, Ontario, to witness the absolute best in cosplay, videos, contests, voiceover actors, and much, much more. See the Southern Ontario Lolitas live and in person. Meet and greet some of the most famous geeks in the business, such as Mark Boyer, Tristan Campbell, Dr. Holocaust, and many, many more very special guests. It is all live and in person at the Unplugged 2 Expo, at the Daniel Spectrum Center, located at 585 Dundas Street East in Toronto, Ontario. For more information, please go to www.unpluggedexpo.com. That's www.unpluggedexpo.com. Be there or you really are not a geek. Yes. All right, that actually snapped me back in, man. I'm better now. <laughs> All right, so you're good. Yeah, that's Dude, you did a fun. great job on that ad, man. I Thank have you. to say it. I know I'm kissing your ass, and yeah, I shouldn't be. Why? Did, did you break something on the way in? No. Okay. <laughs> but no, that was awesome. Like, you managed to take that tune, which I was wondering how you are going to pull it I off. do it for a living. I know, that's but so I mean, cool. that was a tough one, man. Yeah, I, I didn't get that know. music at first. No, you didn't. Because you mentioned it, was, it last week. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah. I mean, it, it built up really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the beginning, it sounded like I was doing was a all funeral depressing, procession. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, but that's uh, it's a very popular movie called Kick-Ass, and that's yeah. actually, the character in the film is actually like a geek, and he yeah. becomes a superhero because he has an accident. Right, and then uh, he becomes like a real life superhero, which yeah. he's always questioning why is it people all these years have never decided to be a superhero, and he takes it into his own hands. Are we live on Ustream, by the yes. way? Yes, we are. All yeah. right, uh, if uh, you want to check us out on Ustream, uh, keep this browser page open, open up a fresh browser page, type in ustream.tv, go into the search bar, get reality radio 101, type that in, and then hit the magnifying glass, and you'll be able to see me alone. Don't- in the studio, <laughs> it's not like last week where I had yeah. two, you know, two big dudes here. <laughs> so I'm alone. So I'm gonna wave to the camera. Hi, 
And we've also got two uh, extra cameras set up for when I post this on YouTube, in a, in hopefully in a few days. Uh, it'll, uh, you can check out my videos on YouTube. Type in DFH Studios, one word, DFH Studios. You know what DFH stands for, Gary? Uh, dude from hell. No. <laughs> Close. <laughs> You just go on to YouTube and uh, you can check out all my videos and you will see last week's video. You'll see the week before, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to talk about Unplugged Expo for a little bit here. We might as well since it's coming up this weekend. I'm, I, You know, I, I was on the guests page, Gary, and I'm a little insulted because I'm gone. I just texted James and I'm like, what's going on here, man? I'm like no he needs there. to worry about that. I know he's probably he's like oh pff, whatever. Del. You know don't worry about <laughs> we it. We gave Listen, him we gave him his moment. <laughs> if if people want to show up at this thing, yeah, they're not going to be paying attention to no. Del Morgado, and you know what? Sure. And, and this is going to be like really awesome because yes. uh, there's a lot of chicks. Oh yeah, going to be there. Be half, half dressed, just about, yes, right. Well, a little bit so, a little bit less than half yeah, dressed. Yeah, a little bit less than some half of them. dressed. <laughs> But checks Gary, will you're, be there. you're gonna go crazy, man. Why would I go crazy? You're gonna be like sitting I'm old, there, like, man. no, it doesn't matter. As yeah. long as your parts are functioning, My you're gonna be going function, nuts. Brother. <laughs> you're My gonna parts. be sitting there at the booth, going, "What the? F-? Every five seconds, you're gonna get whiplash." I'm telling you, man. We're gonna have to call in a freaking ambulance, or you know, just to cart your ass to the hospital because you got whiplash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you're gonna be charging the event too. Where you just got an email. I got tons of emails. Oh, all tons the time. of e- but not Del Morgado no, related not that. incidents. No, the, most of the email <laughs> that comes in for you says get him off the air. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. <laughs> That's all good. Mind you, I don't think I've ever pissed anybody off on the air yet. Angry caller. Angry listener? Yeah. Oh, pff, he doesn't count. Yeah. Come on. He was never that fucking angry. I dare you to call in tonight, bitch. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Hey, you know, just. Well, uh, hold on. I was going to mention some of the guests on uh, just real quick. Okay. Um,. For those of you who are interested in Unplugged Expo, which is this weekend on uh, October 20th, we're going to play that ad, actually, uh, for the remainder of the ads. We're going to skip my ad this week and just okay. play that. No so, problem, man. Uh, we've got uh, Zombie Bit Me. She's one of the guests. The Rogue. Hey, wait. She's first hot, they, dude. Wait, first Have you all, seen it lately? Hold on. Yeah. If you're if you're talking <laughs> like about guests, hold right, on. <laughs> and we're talking about these hot chicks, no yeah. one knows anything, make sure we... You can. They can go to the website yes. of Unplugged too, and that's see where I'm at right chicks. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm at unpluggedexpo.com, and I'm in the guest page, and that's where I'm naming off most of these names. Uh, we've got Mark Boyer, which he's got like a picture of. Uh, oh, makeup and prosthetic. <laughs> makeup that and makes, prosthetic. Yeah, he does uh, uh, makeup effects. Oh jeez. Yeah, and uh, we've got Daniel. Hole, dude. Have, are you looking at this? No. Hole. I'm doing crossword <laughs> puzzles. Really. No, you're not. Liar. Yeah. We can see on the camera. You're yeah. not doing it. <laughs> We've got Max. I like puppy dogs. And <laughs> yeah. It's like a dating site. Max Peisner. <laughs> yes. Tristan Campbell. Tristan. Remember how last week yeah, he was she, like, uh, he, no, it's a he. Oh. <laughs> I, no, I thought it was a girl too. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be either. Yeah. We got Phantom Compass. We've got Yukon Games. Ken Lashley. Oh, I know that dude. We got Dr. Holocaust. I've met him a few times. Adrian Alfona. What's she I, look like? It's a he. Oh, forget that. Yeah. And we've got Sonia Anwar. What does she look like? She looks pretty smashing. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> we've got Marco Rudy. See? Uh, oh, here we go. Nadine Oliver. Yeah. She's a kawaii ambassador. She's also known as, check this out, Cupcake and Tea. <laughs> pretty awesome. We've got Stephanie Maderos. You know, Maderos is my middle name. Uh, we've also got Kiga... Well, you can go to the website and check this out. <laughs> go to unflaggedexpo.com because I'm not on the page anymore. So not that I'm bitter or nothing. Uh, we've also got, oh, here we go. This is Jill Frappier. She's a voice guest of honor. She, uh, I think she was one of the voiceovers. Let me just uh, quickly see this here. Yep, she done uh, a couple of uh, C- CBC radio dramas, TV cartoon series, a whole bunch of things. Wow, that's pretty, wow. I don't know how he got all these people. I guess it was Corrado. Corrado must have definitely tempted. Oh, here we go. Cosmeco Cosplay Group. Very smashing, baby. We've also got Lauren McCleary. Wow, she is gorgeous. Holy shit. And a couple of dudes. <laughs> all right, anyway, there we all go. Right, all right. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, I, I notice you going towards the phone there, so uh, what's There's going on? There's somebody on the phone that we both know from the show. Oh, boy. Now, wait a minute before you guess. <laughs> okay. Now, there's uh, Are they this angry? one here. Are they angry? 
Is it what? Are they angry? They're not angry. Oh, they're not angry. No, why okay. would they be angry? Oh. But okay. this this woman, <laughs> this woman on oh, it's on, a woman. on it's okay. a woman. She sounds incredibly hot. Oh. Incredibly. <laughs> so hot. I think I may have a sound so clip. So hot. Yes. My chair is rising. Nice. <laughs> so. Uh, and she's Sally, finally are you there. Yeah. Sally, wait. Uh, Sally, are you there? Don't Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. Hello. Yes. Finally. How are you? Good. She finally calls to the Del Morgano What do you mean? Show. She called. Didn't she call before? She called to Sex by Hazard. Oh, I yes. get you. And now this is sloppy seconds. <laughs> no. So, Sally, how Hi, are you? Hi, Sally. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. Oh, you're good, good huh? We yeah. want to know if you really are. <laughs> I really am. Oh, be Oh, I love that voice. <laughs> My goodness. I'm having a really hard time distinguishing the two of you. Really? You must have put the really? bass. He, he, I think Gary probably put more bass on me this week. Do you, <laughs> no, oh, no. bass? Yeah. Just a little bit of bass Is on the that voice. that to make me vibrate? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to call on my show. <laughs> Sally, What's I just, just want to. tell me, Dal. I just want to thank you personally for making my weekend last weekend. When you made that little sound effect, if you don't mind me playing well, that right now, would you mind? Pardon me. <laughs> so he wants to know. He wants I to wanna, know if he, he wants to play his uh, sound bite that that yes. you had. Well, I really prefer you did it. Oh. I'd like to give you a new one. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> I'm you know, all now, ears. I think every person <laughs> deserves a good weekend. Yes. And you definitely gave me a good weekend that weekend. I was in and heaven. I think everyone deserves a moment of glory. Oh, there we go. And Ooh. have you got there one for go. me this week? Yeah. <laughs> so can I give you a new clip? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. I will not say. And Gary, don't interrupt her this I won't. time. Here we go. Now, boys, <laughs> behave, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, behave. Of course I will. Okay. All right, I'll be good. Oh, my God. Gary. Oh. Gary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, darling. Oh, my goodness. Now, Dale. You're killing me. <laughs> let me tell you something, Dale. Yes, <laughs> darling. I got on Gary for writing you so much. And yes. And you turned around. And did the same thing to him. Yes, I did. You did? Yes, I did. So now you're both even. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, did you? She's good. I have oh, to admit, you're good, I'm going to put that sound clip on a CD. <laughs> I'm and all play I'm going to do week. is all night long when I'm working, I'm just going to put that on and But on she was breaking up, though. Was she? Yeah, like the, the phone was kind of breaking up there. I for didn't a hear bit. that. I did. Really? Should I do it again? Yeah. I think you should do it again. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's this really raining here. So. Is it? Oh, that could, be, oh, that could be why. Dear. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's be quiet first. Oh. We're going to give you a countdown. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're going to give you a countdown. Hold on, I Sally. Think, Mustang Sally, I by the way. I think I need to give Jen Hazard lessons. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? She sounded I, like she I, was going to kill somebody. First of all, I agree with that because... You know, when Jen does it, she just, uh, Jen does it like, <laughs> oh, okay, hurry up. Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, like she's doing beautiful. the laundry or something. Yeah. <laughs> like she's raking her lawn. Well, you That's know right. what? You got to close your eyes. Oh. Ooh. And you got to imagine it. Oh. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. Here we go. And action. Oh, Dale. Oh, Gary. Oh. I think I'm running out of steam. Oh, <laughs> well, I thought you were going. Wow! For the, I thought she was going for the two first. We're getting both at the same time. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. No, you'll never know. You'll oh. never know. So, Sally, let me ask you a question. What yes, you, darling. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> what am I wearing? Well, I have on. Since so, I ran out, so my mom would not hear me. Oh. I'm sitting in my car in the rain. Oh. And I have a pair of pants, a pair of cropped pants on, and a shirt. I love it. What what kind of pants? Cropped. Cropped. What's that mean? Like they're like almost like Daisy you Dukes. Know, below the knee. 
Oh, <laughs> like clam. Gary's diggers. face just wait, Gary's wait, wait, face wait, wait, priceless. Wait, wait, like clam diggers. Yeah. No. Uh, Did you guys hear that? Or are you too busy talking? No, we heard that. Yeah, we heard that. Believe me, we heard it. What did I say? You said clam. <laughs> no, the Gary said no. that. <laughs> no, what boys, did, you missed it. What oh. What'd you say? I said, and I have nothing else on. Oh. There we go. Oh my goodness. So okay, you must you want like a Sally. job. <laughs> Where are you from? Cuz that accent well, it, Oh, I'm not Sally. Oh, come on. Like I can get it's out su- there. It's a southern accent. It's definitely southern. Yeah. I am not Sally. I bet you she's from Tennessee <laughs> or Georgia. You said you were from the Midwest. I, was I am not. You're not telling. Tell- <laughs> you know why? Because you know. I tell you, I have to kill you. Oh wow, that sounds almost Could very uh, mafioso kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? You're uh, in that voice is yeah. on you. She'd oh probably she'd probably do one of those. If oh my god, <laughs> Sally, you still there? Did you kill somebody? Did you kill somebody? <laughs> wow. So, as a favor, actually, if you could, because you know my name is Morgado, my last name. Morgado. Yeah, baby. <laughs> My name can be done in a very sexual, very, very sexual way in order to uh-huh. remember it. Did I ever tell you this? Or did you ever um, hear that? Oh, well, I've probably heard it. Okay. Because, yeah, you, she's been listening since day one, Gary. Yeah. She confessed that to me last week, actually. Mm-hmm. And I'm very, very happy to know that you're super awesome and super everyday listening or every week listening. <laughs> I appreciate that very highly. But I, if you could... Give us a more God. Oh. <laughs> and I will definitely use it yeah. as a sound clip. Oh. If I do that, then I would have to say, oh, Gary, the Italian stallion. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not more Goddle. No, it's not. But I'll right. still use that as a sound clip. <laughs> uh, right. You're listening to the Gary. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, you want me to do it for you? You know what, yeah. Dow? Yes. Are you supposed to ask permission before you play those? Yes, I I did. I asked uh, Jen Hazard for permission last time. You you don't oh, really. Oh, no, I see. So you don't need the person saying it. No. You were on the show. Permission. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't need it. Because oh, we, cause we don't know. You, you got to be careful. <laughs> no, no, because if you have the real identity of the person, let's say it's an yeah. interview. Yes. And uh, first of all, anything that goes recorded. Well, how do you know I'm not Sally? I don't you are know Sally. That. You said it last time. But I'm time. just saying, I'm saying. I am Sally. She is Sally. But you never gave us your last name. Yes, so th- I did. When? It's not Mustang Sally. No, S- Struthers. Oh, S- <laughs> <laughs> was it, was Sally, it Sally Struthers? Struthers? Yes. Right? Oh wow. Boys, I yes. have to use what one of the what Dal uses actually. Okay. Now all good things have to come to an end. Oh. Oh, they do have to come. They do have to come yes. to an end. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you oh, revving my. your engine? Yes. Ooh. You know the, the camera is at a certain level where you can't see below the. Yeah, I'm glad of that. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's oh. over there in the back tossing yeah, away. because the board just went up two inches. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That belongs to me. Oh. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Damn. She's loving you this week. I don't know what's you going on You know what? Now I, feel, now I actually feel bad for making fun of you. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Why? Just a smidge. Yeah. Because <laughs> she'd be talking all dirty to me, right? So, right. See, you know, she's getting back at you. She's getting back at me. Wow. Oh, Morgado. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it up, though. Yeah. Oh. More. More. God. <laughs> oh, we sound like fags. More. 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 Gary. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, I'm going crazy. I'm going yeah, crazy. Yeah, you're going to get it, Sally. I'm, I'm going to get crazy. you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I say I get somebody, I'm going to get somebody. I, oh, I'm, Gary, you put the new clock up. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed it. You know what? Now, well, I'm, boys, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but it is pouring down rain, and I need to find my way back to my beach place. Oh, oh. wow. Well, Sally, Ooh. you can feel free to call back any anytime. Baby. Yes. On our oh, nickel. I will hold my breath. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and, uh, yes, uh, definitely call in next week. Yes, because mm. I'm going to be recording all of this. <laughs> right. 
Thank you for the warning. Yes. Well, thank you well, for giving us you, those Sally. sexy, sexy I would sexy like to uh, check out your clothes with nothing underneath, as you Ooh, said. Nothing else. Yes. Oh, no. Not at all. Nobody knows me. I could wear anything I wanted or anything I don't want to. Mm. That's true. How is your vacation, by the way? It's not over. Ooh. Ooh. If you decide to... Did you to tell us the hotel you're at? <laughs> <laughs> I have another whole week. Oh. oh. If you decide to come to Toronto... Um, yeah. What? If I decide to come where? To come, Toronto. If you decide to come... To Toronto. To, to Toronto. I will come before I come to Toronto. Oh. oh. No. Oh, no I'm, I'm going crazy now. Wow. She's she's way better on my show than yeah, she was on yeah, Sex by Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> you're the best, Sally. Oh. <laughs> If she comes to Toronto, we'll have to show her the town. Yes. I'll do a lot more than that. No, you won't. <laughs> well, I don't oh. think I do duos. Oh. You don't do duels, right? She does not. No. Oh, is that what you one said? One at a time. Oh, one at a time. <laughs> so I'll have to choose, right? Yeah, Ooh. we'll play spin the bottle. Spin. <laughs> Do you remember um, that? I don't think so. If what? I don't get to choose, I don't do it. Oh, so right. what What do we have to do? Do we have to battle? Like, do Gary and I have to fight in order to get your hand? No, I'm really not worth it. Oh, come on. Oh. You're, you're worth it, darling. Yes, Trust me. Is. Very you much. don't know that. Just, oh, oh, we just, know. Just the voice. Yes. <laughs> That's the all voice it takes. alone. <laughs> That's all it takes well, with us. Well, I think I better go back before... Uh, they send the police after me. <laughs> oh. Well, darling, I very, very much appreciate you calling. Paramedic, I'll take a paramedic. I used to be oh, one. Oh, he used to be one. Damn it. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That okay, is I'm so out of luck. Hot. I'm yes. out of luck. <laughs> she doesn't want a videographer. No, she doesn't. So, but we could make magic together. Ooh. <laughs> she sounds so smoking, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you look like again? You're brunette, right? Yes, I am. Very mm. nice. Naturally, brunette. Pre- and uh, petite, right? Five two. Pardon. Five two. Petite. Who said that? You said you that. You said that on Sex by Hazard. We asked. We asked you. Uh, <laughs> oh. We asked you. Well, maybe your... I lied. Oh, damn! I don't know what maybe to believe I'm anymore. Maybe I'm really blonde and five foot six. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe. Yes. Does she sound blonde? I and five no, foot she. Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> she can be Sally Well, I do like to have fun, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Well, that's true. So do brunettes, though. That's right. Right. That's right. Brunettes are all blondes deep down inside. Deep down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, boys, I've got to go. All right, Sally. Well, I love you. <laughs> yes. Enjoy the rest of your topic, okay? Thank all you, All right, darling. baby. Get back on topic. I Thank shall. You, I shall. Once all I right. shake off these cobwebs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a great night, darling. Don't use your left and your right too much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a good one, my darling. All right. Thank you for Bye. calling. Bye-bye. 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 Wow. Wow. Dude, I don't think I'll be able to walk straight for the rest of the night, Holy man. I'm telling shit, you. shit, man. i got to take this, a break. we got the dude, music. we got the song of the week coming up, so let's do it. voice, man. <laughs> I need like five minutes wait, wait, of wait, private wait. Just time. Think, yeah, but think of just <laughs> think of. Just think of that voice. My headset just went weird. I yeah, can't hear we, you. I don't know what's really. Yeah. I, I see your lips going moving, on, man. You can't hear can nothing. You turn me up a little bit. No. Just in case. My, are you there? I'm here. Still? I can hear you barely, though. Okay. So what you need to do Something is uh, just maybe you hit a cable. All right. Well, we're gonna take. Right? This, let's take the song take, of the week. Okay, we'll talk we'll about take... Sally when we come back. Song of the um, week. You yeah, want to yeah, do? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Uh, we've got a mainstream band coming up for you, ladies and gentlemen. They are Lincoln Park. I love these bastards. The song is called In the End. You're listening to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. It starts with one I don't know why It doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind I'm designed this rhyme to explain in due time All I know Time is a valuable thing Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings Watch it count down to the end of the day The clock takes life away It's so unreal Didn't look out below Watch the time go right out the window Trying to hold on to didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you Be a memory of a time I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. One thing I don't know why it doesn't. 
try Keep that in mind I design this rhyme to remind myself how I tried So hard In spite of the way you were mocking me Acting like I was part of your property Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so Things aren't the way they were before You wouldn't even recognize me anymore Not that you knew me back then But it all comes back to me in the end You kept everything inside And even though I tried It all fell apart What it meant to me will eventually be a memory Of a time when I I tried so hard Are you a geek? Do you live the geekdom lifestyle? If you stated yes, then Unplugged 2, a weekend of awesome, is just for you. That's right. Join geeks from around the world at the Daniel Spectrum Center in downtown Toronto, Ontario to attend the most talked about geek expo in the world, period. Saturday, October 26th and Sunday, October 27th. Be sure to be at the Daniel Spectrum Center, located in downtown Toronto, Ontario, to witness the absolute best in cosplay, videos, contests, voiceover actors, and much, much more. See the Southern Ontario Lolitas live and in person. Meet and greet some of the most famous geeks in the business, such as Mark Boyer, Tristan Campbell, Dr. Holocaust, and many, many more very special guests. It is all live and in person at the Unplugged 2 Expo at the Daniel Spectrum Center, located at 585 Dundas Street East in Toronto, Ontario. For more information, please go to www.unpluggedexpo.com. That's www.unpluggedexpo.com. Be there or you really are not a geek. The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome back to, what's the name of this? Oh, the Del Morgano Show. <laughs> right here on Reality Radio 101 to contact Del. Don't bother. Email him right now, realityradio101 at yahoo.com. And now back to your host, Del Morgano. You don't even know what show you're doing. <laughs> I, I was ready to say geek card. <laughs> All right, so what's going well, on with your headphones? Hold on, wait. Well, I, well, I don't know. I was like, it was, it was low, and it's like kind of like I'm 
fiddling with the toy over here, but it's not going. Oh, uh, welcome back to the Del Morgado Show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Why did you bring me back the beer and you didn't open it? Dude, do I look like I have a can opener or a bottle opener? I could do Hold on. I do. <laughs> I do have a bottle opener. I can't really give it to you right now because we're on the air and we're on the show and you just picked up the phone. I got a funny feeling I know who that is who's just calling you because he just called me on my phone and I think he forgot the fact that I'm doing the show. What's wrong with you? I'm doing a show right now, you bastard, and you're calling me on my phone. No, wait uh, a minute. Wait oh, a minute. Wait a minute. You, uh, gave me, you gave me a beer. I know. I'm I, back. But where am I going to get an Don't opening? you have one on your, uh, your, oh. your keychain? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Hold Dude, on. come on, man. All These right, aren't man. twist off. I, okay, I, well, I'll take care I'll of it. start when you connect me to whoever's on the phone. You really want, you sure? I don't know. It depends hot, on who it is. It's a hot chick and it's no one you know. Another chick? You don't know this chick. Get one. out of you here. You don't know this chick. I don't know this chick. Yeah. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Her name is me. Alexandria. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta find the freaking opener first. Hold on. No, sorry, I, I, Alexandria. I, I can open it. I got tools. What right are you gonna now? do? How are you gonna open it? Don't worry about you it. You gonna use your freaking teeth? Yeah. Fucking rock star. Eh? There you go. <laughs> see. All right. Put me through. All right. So I think Alexandria. Alexandria, are you there? Alexandria. Wait. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, all right, you're oh, there. Hello, Alexandria. You sound Hi, hot. Hi, Dale. Hi, baby. How are you, Dale? Oh, my God, that sounds like a transvestite. It does. Huh? <laughs> it sounds I like heard, a, I heard you were cheating on me, Dale. It sounds like a really... Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Enough of that shit, anyways. By the way, that lady that called earlier on, yeah. God bless her. What a sweetheart. Yeah, did she get, a, did she get yeah, you all man. riled up there, brother? God bless your mouth, lady. You know Ooh. what? My hand is asking me to fucking give it a rest. <laughs> okay? My you hand is just doesn't want to talk to me right now. My hand is fucking not looking and talking hey, to me hold right on, now. Hold on, brother Alex. Why are you calling me when I'm doing the show, man? What's wrong with you? With because you, I wanted to, you mentioned porn the other day, and you know mm -hmm. what the thing about porn, Dale? Talk to that me. That fucking glossy shit from uh, Vivid Video, that's garbage. You oh, want I don't a real like porn Vivid, shit that's going to turn you on and pitch 10 up to the fucking high skies? I watch do not. the homemade porn, dude. Uh, I, no, I can't watch the homemade either. I watch the um, new sensation. Watch your neighbors have sex. That's sexy. <laughs> yeah, right. Have you ever seen my neighbors? <laughs> well, no, not your neighbors. Mind you, my oh, neighbors. Your I don't oh, mind. Oh, yes. You do have a pretty sexy neighbor living upstairs there, bro. Two yeah. of them. Two? What? Yes. There's you a never one? met uh, the lady on the other you side. You don't have to say her name, but there's no. another one there? Oh, buddy. Dude, I'm coming up next week, man. You're more than welcome. I'm Why do you think I still live here? <laughs> I'm coming up. No. I like Gary to sit back like and just watch them parade in their fucking uh, pajamas parties, sometimes, eh? you know? And oh, you lucky bastard. Oh, no, I'm not being lucky. I'm just being a creep, that's all. <laughs> a creep. <laughs> I anyway, know that song. Like to give, give do the song, dude. You, guys. you know that what? song, Creep, right? Yeah, by uh, Radiohead. You're so fucking I'm special. Creep. <laughs> I'm a widow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just wanted to say hello. I wanted to give kudos to that sweet, sexy lady oh, wherever she is. Oh, my God, dude. I bet you people all around the world were probably whipping out their cocks. I'm telling you. Ma'am, oh, God bless you oh, in that guys. sweet tongue of yours. She Do you swallow, smashing. by the way? <laughs> guys, have a great night. Bye-bye. You too, buddy. Wow. <laughs> that was Alexandria, which turned into Alex. Yes. Thank you, Alex, for calling. <laughs> no, but you know... He, Alexandra? He, he, was, did he say he was Alexandra? No, I said that. Well, you said that. Yeah. All right. Sexy. No, you know, yeah. back to Sally. Yes. You know, Let's no matter, good, bad, or indifferent, if yeah. she's listening and she says, I don't want, it doesn't matter. She's yeah. got a hot voice. Oh, yeah. Very, very, a very A very sexy. hot voice. And yes. that, that can be and an it, asset, you know. And it sounded much better on the Del Morgado show. Than the Jen Hazard Than it show. did on Sex by Hazard, 1030, Thursday nights. That's right. <laughs> That's correct. I didn't mind. Like, I actually, I was very happy to hear that show. And I'm sitting there at home. Dude, I was tossing shit at the freaking screen. I'm like, Gary, get your shit together. She threw so many hints at you, which you guys can hear that show on YouTube because I did post it on Jen's channel. I'm actually in charge of that channel. Sex by Hazard. Go onto YouTube. Type it in. It was, uh, It's actually the latest one because I haven't posted up last week's show yet. So check that out, and I tell you, man, she is smoking. I'm glad that she called in tonight. Mustang Sally, you made my night. Definitely. Definitely, man. Especially with all that. Even when she said Gary. You know what? I can easily take out the Dell that she gave me from before. <laughs> and I can superimpose that with the... Yeah. Oh, Dell. <laughs> Let's hear that again. Hold on. See? I oh, have one. Dell. That's right, baby. That's right. <laughs> She's probably emailing you right now. No, I'm, look, I think we're having problems something. with the computer because... Uh, 
I'm, I can't refresh it. I'm really? trying to refresh it. Yeah, so who knows? Maybe there's like 72 emails. <laughs> what are the odds on my yeah. show? <laughs> are you serious, Gary? Yeah, man. I I'm trying. To, I keep trying to refresh. No, it. I'm saying you're serious about getting 72 emails because you. No, never I'm just saying we could. You know, you you could, right? How do you know? <laughs> well, she definitely woke me up, man. I tell you, man, in more ways than one, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that is mm-hmm. smoking hot, man. Oh, buddy, that was crazy. Oh, where's my drum roll, man? Shit. Okay, there we go. See? I was going to do that, but I fucked up and I didn't play it properly. But, yeah, like I was saying earlier, like, it's amazing how sometimes, and I'll never forget, uh, the very first time Gary and I are sitting here, uh, this is way before my show started, I'd come up to make a visit uh, just because we were getting, uh, you know, kind of, he was trying to figure out what I was going to do on my show and whatnot. We still don't know. You still don't know. Not even God knows what's going to happen on this show. I don't even know what's going to happen on the show. And uh, we're sitting here and Gary turns to me and he says, Dell, let's try a rehearsal. Let's see if you can get into this and see how it feels. So I had a sound bite that I was going to start off the show with every yeah. week, which obviously didn't work out because we tried it, and I fucked it up. And then Gary starts talking to me, which was really cool. You remember that? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> so Gary just starts talking to me, and we're talking. We're chatting away for a good 20 minutes. The light is on. You know, We're pretending like we're on the air. And then he turns to me. Uh, after about 20 minutes, he goes, Dell, you realize – all of this was on the air in retrospect, right? So I was just laughing my head off because that's pretty much what we do now is we just chat. <laughs> what was the whole point of that conversation? I have no idea, just, man. I just wanted to talk you're about You're saying it. <laughs> that what, I actually put you on the air? No, we were doing a rehearsal before oh, I went okay. on the air. You remember that? And it no. was like, all right, fine. You forget everything, man. Dude, you I, know? I'm oblivious to life. Dude, it's Alzheimer's. I got a isn't buzz it? already. I, <laughs> <laughs> With that one chug, are you yeah, crazy? No, I, this is my second chug, but oh, I don't drink man. beers, you know, or alcohol a lot. You know, you and offered me the beer, by the way. I know, way. but I but I'm on cardiac meds too, as you know. Yes, and, and that and it's, it doesn't speeds it up. It like, kind of speeds it up. It doesn't yeah. really hurt me, but it speeds it up. Yeah. And since I don't drink, I have a very very low tolerance for alcohol. Yes, you do. One <laughs> beer, I'm legally. I could not get in the car and drive. I'd be legally pulled over. One beer. One beer. You're kidding. I blew up. I blew whatever that legal limit is. I drank yeah. that one time. And they got those things in the bar. You yeah, can yeah, just yeah. see what you can blow it for fun. How many beers did you have? One beer, and no I was way. point something over the limit. Are you serious? I swear to God. Dude, I was at my brother's place this past weekend. I drank like about maybe six or seven beers mm-hmm. throughout the entire night. Yeah. I had five or six shots, which you made, like special little, you know, those yeah. shots that you don't really yeah. know you're getting the loaded. The porky shots. Yeah, yeah. The, but, I mean, there were obviously there was mixtures of alcohol like crazy. Yeah. And then I waited a few hours because I knew I was going to drive again, about three, four yeah. hours. He has a little breathalyzer toy, right? Yeah. And we tried it. Zero point zero 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 zero. It's not accurate then. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's impossible. No, dude. I was. You I had drank for three hours. Have, doesn't matter. You still have alcohol in your system up to twenty four hours. Yeah, but it and wasn't. Even if it has steady. to register anything, a, a professional one. Yeah. The most minimal amount of alcohol. The most minimal. Right. It'll still register it, even though after you're three weight, hours. Yes. This one didn't. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't. We be tried it. it on my sister because she drank constantly. Yeah. And she blew over. Like, dude, she was technically... I'm drinking right she now. She was... Drink up. Go closer, man, so we can hear it. That is good and cool. <laughs> Miller Genuine Draft. That's right. MGD, MGD, baby. See? You're loving it, aren't you? And you were mocking me for MGD oh a couple God. weeks I'm ago. I'm going to fall off my chair. Oh, come on, man. Sober up. We only got a few more minutes to nah, go. <laughs> okay. I got another show to do after, I too. know. You got... Uh, how was that last week, anyway? Good. It was a good show? Yeah. I didn't really get a chance to hear it because I was driving home. Okay, we should hear it now. <laughs> I will. I will hear it tonight, actually, because she says she wants to videotape yeah, it as Yeah, you well. know what? You don't have to work tomorrow, even though you're real tired. I am gone, dude. You have yeah. no idea how tired I am right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? A lot of jerking off does that Whoa. to people. I actually, I jerk off before I go to sleep. Yeah. Because it makes me uh, more tired. I don't want to hear it. Dude, I'm just dude. telling you, man. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people it. do. <laughs> no, we don't want to hear it. I'm not the only one that masturbates right. I want to hear there. more about... Uh, Sally? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Screw you. Dude, she was in the car because she's hanging out with her mom. She, That's she, awesome for her to like leave her mom. Yeah, to, to go come up and to talk car. to call this show. Yeah, that's it's beautiful, hot, dude. That's beautiful. Hot. Like I'm talking smoking. Oh, hot. I know that. Austin's gonna love her. This oh, oh yeah, babe. <laughs> Could you imagine that voice? Ew, shit. Mm. I'm telling you, man. I would shag her so rotten she wouldn't even know it happened, baby. <laughs> <She would> <laughs> and that's why I'm bringing it up because this weekend is Unplugged Expo. We're gonna play that ad one more time after yeah. the comedy clip of the week. And you can go to unpluggedexpo.com. You can also check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash unpluggedexpo. You can also go on Twitter, 
at Unplugged Expo. And I tell you, man, it's going to be a crazy show. Let me ask I don't know you. when I'm going to do Austin, though, but it I will be matter, doing but Austin. But let me ask you ask this. Ask me something. Do you think any of your listeners will be there? I think some of the uh, Sonia will be there because she won mm-hmm. <laughs> two weeks ago. Right. <laughs> so she's a guarantee. Right. I know that uh, some of the uh, people who are having tables will be there. Hugh oh, Rookwood, yes, uh, he'll be there. Right. Uh, Nigel Lewis, who's been on my show. Yeah. Who's the guy um, that he says, "Why do you got to be like that?" That's Huey. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be there. Yeah, he's gonna he's be there. Gonna kick my ass. No, he's he? not. <laughs> he's gonna be busy trying to sell his stuff. <laughs> What's he sell? Uh, he's selling the comic. Oh, uh, the comics. Yeah, okay, Apocalypse cool. Yeah. Now. Uh, Does everybody a... goes there and they try to sell crap that nobody no. wants? No, don't I'm not saying his stuff, man. What's wrong with you? Hold on, I'm not <laughs> saying his stuff. <laughs> oh, you're saying? I said other people. You're not listening. I heard a lot of people go there and they try to sell crap. They pawn off garbage. Yeah, it's yeah. crap, man. You're sitting there going, really? You're selling yeah, this They crap? all think they're, you know, they all you guys think you're in the entertainment Hey, business. whoa, don't put me you, in this ball of wax. And then you go wax. back and you say, excuse me, you want fries with that? Oh, because you, you bastard. guys don't get it, man. <laughs> you know what, Sally? I'm going to fucking. <laughs> oh, I know. Mm, I'm going to get you for that one there, buddy. <laughs> Sally. You mm. bastard. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I'm going to destroy you. Wow. I'm going to take you in my hand and I'm going to break you. <laughs> right. Like I'm trying to career. remember. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, did you hear he was thinking wait, of I running? Keep moving this. Oh, okay. Ah, okay I'll wait till ahead. you're done playing there. Yeah, go ahead. Did you hear? Yeah. I don't know if you heard this, but Arnold is actually thinking about running for president. Who is? Arnold. I'd vote for him because he's a conservative. I think anybody would, everybody would vote for him. I'm into Republican conservatives. Yeah. Because they Wasn't get there it. a man from another country who actually went for president? I don't know much about American history. You can't, history. though, because you have to be born in the in the Constitution. He yeah. can never run for president. You have to be born You have born to be born here. in the States. Yes. Yeah, but Even I know that Ronald Reagan was an a- he was an actor. Yeah, but he was born yeah. here. He's he born was born in California in the... or oh, Illinois okay, or something. Okay. Gotcha. The bottom line is Arnold yeah. can hold any other um, Title. office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which he did. Which he did. <laughs> yeah, governor, right. right. But he cannot <laughs> hold the president of the United States because in the Constitution, yeah. You have to be born in the United States, even in order though, to become a president. Yeah, because we become nat- okay. like me. You become yeah, yeah. naturalized citizens after you right. apply and you live here for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could never run for prime minister here. Oh, okay, because yeah. you weren't born. I wasn't born here. Oh, okay, okay. That's interesting. Because right. I mean, when I, I when I read that, that, I was way. like, I don't think there's a. <laughs> there he goes chugging more beer. <laughs> you said you're already drunk, and now you're gonna be falling off the table, you bastard. Yeah, man. Ah, what's wrong with you? Ah, oh, come on. Shit, dude. Come on. Oh, I just looked at the time. <laughs> That's why. It's like he times it. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, I thought my jokes were bad. Oh, I just. Got you really a, fucked up on that listen, one, Gary. I got a beautiful. I don't know. Beautiful email. Hey, the the lady that just wrote me the yes. email. Okay. Who says what she also is? Okay. Could I say that on the air? So write me back before I say that on the air. <laughs> I gotta. Say, All right. Well, we got some time because we're gonna play. We're gonna play the comedy yeah, clip so right I'll now. So I'll wait. Right. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the comedy clip of the week. And this and week, I I'd... thought my jokes were bad. Well, they are bad, Gary. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I had to say that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be hearing right now Mr. George Lopez. You're listening to the Del Morgado Show right here on Reality Radio 101. So when somebody travels by themselves, that, that amazes me. Because Latinos don't go, down, don't go down the hall to get a blanket because the fucking cuckoo is in the closet. <laughs> go get a blanket. No, I'm not going to go. It's dark. All Mexican people have a haunted room in their house. You have a two-bedroom house, one room is fucking haunted. You got the living room, the master bedroom, and the goo-goo. Goo-goo. No! You ever run by and try to turn the light on when you're running? Look at that stupid ass. Turn that light on! Because we will make up words that don't exist. Burly, you know Burly. You know Burly? I'll use it in a sentence. Hey, how long have you been here? Shit, we just Burly got here. <laughs> and just everyone knows, hey, they Burly, didn't you hear them? They Burly got here. How about, I know, huh? I know, huh? Last night you were all fucked up. I know, huh? <laughs> you ever been so drunk you started the car twice and they're ah! <laughs> ah! And you hear a 
knock. It's already on! Uh, I know, huh? You know, we're just totally opposites. One thing you have to understand about Latinos is that we're opposite of everyone else. And I'll tell you where I saw it. I was in a market and a guy was backing up and he was gonna hit a pole in a, in a, in a Lexus SUV and a guy leaves his cart and runs, oh my God, hang on! Oh my God! Oh my God! Are your rear sensors not working? You almost hit this pole, oh my God! I ran 86 yards to stop you. I'd get that to an authorized Lexus dealer as soon as I can. He stopped the dude from hitting the pole because he saw it happening. Mexicans, you know what we would do? We would stand back, we would like this. Hey, watch what's gonna happen. Did the flash come out? Did the flash come out? And he hit the pole and bam, you start laughing. Palo! Check him out, hey, look at his face, look at his face. Check him out, hey, look at him. And what do you yell? Hey, I know somebody that can fix it, eh? Are you a geek? Do you live the geekdom lifestyle? If you stated yes, then Unplugged 2, a weekend of awesome, is just for you. That's right. Join geeks from around the world at the Daniel Spectrum Center in downtown Toronto, Ontario to attend the most talked about geek expo in the world, period. Saturday, October 26th and Sunday, October 27th. Be sure to be at the Daniel Spectrum Center located in downtown Toronto, Ontario to witness the absolute best in cosplay, videos, contests, voiceover actors, and much, much more. See the Southern Ontario Lolitas live and in person. Meet and greet some of the most famous geeks in the business, such as Mark Boyer, Tristan Campbell, Dr. Holocaust, and many, many more very special guests. It is all live and in person at the Unplugged 2 Expo at the Daniel Spectrum Center located at 585 Dundas Street East in Toronto, Ontario. For more information, please go to www.unpluggedexpo.com. That's www.unpluggedexpo.com. Be there or you really are not a geek. Yeah, what up? Yeah, welcome. I'm slurring, buddy. I'm numb. I'm numb. Welcome back to the Del Morgano Show, right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact Del, contact your local law enforcement agency, and then contact him right now. 905-725-1907, or if you're gay. Call him right now. He's looking for a date. 1-866-905-7325 or email him right now. Reality Radio 101 at yahoo.com. And now, back to your host, Del Morgado. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm yes. Adam, and you're listening to the Del Morgado Show. Yes. Fabulous. Hi, Garen. <laughs> You look fabulous, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> what did you do with my, your hair? My lips are numb, I know, man. <laughs> it's like I just, I, it's like I have Novocaine. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I should, I, you know what? Stop drinking. I, first of all, yeah. I had nothing to eat yet. Uh, I did I did this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a little snack like yeah, yeah. this afternoon. Dude, your eyes are kind of rolling. Oh, dude, I'm, <laughs> I haven't eaten since... Uh, Oh, I think. Uh, but hold on, with your body o'clock? weight, with your body weight, though, yeah. you should be able to handle that. Like, yeah, no I know. problem. Like, what's wrong with you? I man? know, man. It's, how long no. has it been? Well, you, but every time I'm on the air, you always decide to drink. What's up with you, man? I don't know, man. I'm just <laughs> relaxing. 
I haven't I'm all eaten relaxed anything. On the Del I have not show. eaten anything <laughs> since like two o'clock. Oh my god! And I'm gosh. freaking out here, man. Dude, <laughs> you're gonna be able to last to the next five ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have another show coming on at 1030 tonight. It is called, Gary? It's called Between Dreams on the Air. That's the one. And the host is? Karen McBride. That's right. She's also on Ladies Night In and Out, which you can catch once a month. Ladies Night In and Out. And and In and Out. And In and Out. And In and Out. Do it. Give me that. Give me that. Ready? Baby, you got to see the girls. You know they ain't got pretty girls. They're doing the thing. Oh, we suck, man. Yeah, we do. Rapping. But that's all good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is texting me saying, awesome show. Hold on. I, I missed the rest. Awesome show. That's all I got. Sex and laughter and booze. <laughs> yeah, thanks, well, Alex. Because I, right. I, uh, buddy, you look. Oh my God, man! You're, yeah, I'm, you're I'm pretty, pretty fucked up. The best part is it's on camera. <laughs> so when I post this on YouTube, people are gonna see that your eyes are actually like. Look at you're like he's trying to stare at the screen. <laughs> I can't see. I am. I'm trying to read the email, <laughs> and I'm falling over. I see. You. Fuck, <laughs> bro. It's like he's he's gone side to side. <laughs> Dude, that's classic, man. I feel bad for Karen when she comes in. She's going to be like, hi, Gary, and he's going to be like, Bleh. Yes. <laughs> you said that back in the day when you used to perform, you used to actually pull it off where you used to be, like, sick and shit. You have know. to because, you know, you got people that paid, hun- not hundreds back then, <laughs> but a lot of money for tickets. Right. And any Can't time we cancel the show, which yeah. we had to, right. think about that. You, they have to go through the refund process right, and right. then... We had to reschedule and come back, and yeah. so man, well, I was would, your performance still on top of it though? Like it must no, have suffered a no, little bit. No, but you have to, you have to do it. Show, show must go on. Yeah, as the hey, old expression yeah. goes. By the way, my album's on eBay again. <laughs> oh, I know, I saw that. Oh, did you? <laughs> you sent me the link. <laughs> oh, I did. All right, <laughs> that was crazy, man. I was actually thinking of bidding on it, but I'm like, nah, man, I could probably download it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably take it and transfer it on. I know that they can do that now. They can transfer it from vinyl to MP3 nowadays, which is pretty cool. Dude, you're yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. You look like you're blasted. Man. Yeah, I am plastic. I, I'm, I'm feeling. I'm shit, feeling no pain man. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kick ass. You're going to get your ass beaten huh? up. You won't even know what's going on. I'm numb. <laughs> you know that drunks are actually the best to go in a fight with, though, man. Because drunks. No, nah, see, I'm a happy drunk. I'm not a fight. Uh, no, but I'm just saying because they're, they're so numb. You could beat the shit out of them for like 20 minutes and they wouldn't even freaking feel it, man. <laughs> oh, man, dude, it's funny. I'm just looking at you. Huh? <laughs> it's hysterical. Dude, I've never seen you like this. I've seen you drink on the show before, but yeah, it but never. I'm, feel, I'm just. It never. <laughs> I'm woozy right now. Never kicked in like this. Maybe I should stick around and give you a hand afterwards. Cause I think you should. Maybe Karen's going to be like looking at you going, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, because I'll be hitting wrong buttons. <laughs> That's right. Stuff. Well, like you did and when I you started off. I still have a half a bottle. But you weren't drunk when you started off the show and you were hitting buttons. <laughs> I, still, I still have a half a bottle of beer, man. Is that awful, dude? <laughs> yeah, we gotta show you how you gotta show no, you. How to you're, drink not again. Li- you're not putting this on. You're not putting this on. What? You're not. Yeah, putting man. Why not, man? man? Dude, it'd be hysterical. No. Hey, this is reality radio. <laughs> hey, if I can arrange to have Sally come here for a guest sometime, oh, that would be wicked. like I'll pay for her trip wherever yeah. she lives. Do it up. Man. Watch, she lives in Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. No, and, she said mid Midwest. All right, Midwest. so Midwest. So let's say we we have her for a guest. So what's Midwest? Because you live in, you used to live well, in the state. Well, it's it would be Texas. Uh, no. No, no, no. It would be more Illinois. Okay. Uh, she did mention Indiana. Tennessee. No, when no, no. She was no. getting her hair uh, done. I, it, it, t- I heard that show a couple of times. Yeah. Well, she's <laughs> got that, a southern accent. Yes, that's for sure. Not but that. I but would, it's not I would that bring thick, her because I've heard w- women with thicker accents yeah. than that. I know, but dude, still, I love this clock, by the way. Thanks. And Dale did a he fucking nice it up job, nice. huh? Hey, yeah. So we don't it's even a high need end, this little piece of shit. No, anymore. that's high tech <laughs> clock there. That's a beauty, yeah. man. How many how many batteries is that thing? Take? You know what? It's weird <laughs> because a few because yeah. you don't set that by hand. There's a little digital thing in the back. Really? You program it, huh? Yeah, it's really weird. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty weird, man. I was wondering when you. Gonna put that up because so grab I was your like, camera right now. I'm showing uh, up there. Yeah, I, what's wrong with you? I can't get up. I'm stuck on the microphone. Oh, yeah, you yeah. bastard. Ugh. So I didn't even drink. And right, I'm so burping. Listen, you gotta think about wrapping it up. Oh because, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting yeah. there. All right, let's uh, let's start rolling that music. I'll start and have fun. Oh, you want to do that? I don't know. What else we got? Um, we got yeah. another five minutes, right? Okay, no, no, no don't play it yet. Then. No, I'm not. I'm just okay, queuing yeah, it up. All right, you're queuing it up because uh, we don't have to play it just yet. You said yeah, I got another five minutes. We started late anyway, right? So. I feel sorry for Karen, though, because 
She's going to be coming in here, and it's going to be like less than five minutes to get ready. <laughs> well, no. i got to take all this camera equipment down, unless she wants me to film her show, which I'd be more than willing to, you know. <laughs> Notice I say that with a kind of sarcastic voice. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. This is my technical first Friday of the week, so, you know, you can imagine my dismay. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, go, if you are in the Toronto area, go to Unplugged Expo this weekend, October 26th, 27th, at the Daniel Spectrum. It is 585 Dundas Street East, located in Toronto, Ontario. Right. They have underground parking, $5 for underground parking. Mm -hmm. The show times are, which you didn't mention in the ad, but I might as well throw that out to they everybody right now. They let go to the website. Uh, <laughs> what's that? You lazy bastard. <laughs> You're looking like Stevie Wonder right now. We I am so numb world. right now. I swear, I just pinched my lip. Oh, dude, that's I can't even hysterical. feel it. I can't feel it. I have to put this on YouTube, no. man. What's wrong with you? But anyway, okay, the show times are from 10 to 8 o'clock on Saturday and then 11 to 6 on Sunday. And I'm not even drunk, so I was like about to fall apart there. But if you are in the Toronto area, by all means, come down, check it out. Reality Radio 101 will have a booth in the main area. We're going to be beside the Prawn Girls, the Geek Girls, and we're also going to be beside the 501st Garrison, which is right. the Star Wars um, Geek Foundation, which actually they do a lot of um, community events for all kinds of organizations, and uh, they're really, really good supporters in the geek community. Coming down and check us out. You're going to be able to get and purchase a lot of incredible artwork. There will be some of the greatest artists in the Toronto area will be there at the show. Some of them are a bit better than others, so uh, buy their artwork because they rock. Especially the dudes you know, that were on my show. So <laughs> many people. Not him. He's cool. Yeah. And I see a sample of his work. Yes. Hugh but Rookwood. So many people are going to be studios. there yes. trying to sell crap. Oh, yes. Well, and if you, you know want to see good right? art. Oh, I know it. I know it. If you want to see amazing artwork, go to ChosenStudios.com. Chosen with a Z. That is Hugh Rookwood's page. You can also go to NCLStudios.com, which is Nigel Lewis's page. Unbelievable artwork. I've had both of those gents on my show, and they are undoubtedly amazing artists. You can also go to Spent Pencils. They've never been on my what? show. What? What the hell is that? Spent Pencils. That's a group. It's uh, they, They're a group of artists that get together, and they've actually done a whole bunch of things together. Also, Marvin Mariano. He hasn't been on my show either, but he's an amazing artist as well. He's done stuff for Transformers. He's done stuff for G.I. Joe. Uh, all the packaging that you see on the toys, he's done that stuff. Right. So that's pretty impressive in the art world. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we might as well start that music roll. And I'm going to feel bad for Karen if she comes in here and we're still blabbing away. So <laughs> let's kick yeah, it up, Yeah, that's buddy. not fair. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Okay, oh. I'm still getting a kick out of you, right. man. This is hilarious. <laughs> Shh, calm blue ocean. <laughs> calm blue ocean. Oh, my Gary's God. And I still got a half a bottle. Yeah, I know. That's you disgusting. want me to finish that for oh, you there, Gary? Better, man. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to drive him. I'm so numb right now. Yeah, dude. Don't worry, Go man. Ahead. This footage, you know what? I only get 20 hits a week, buddy. So nobody's going to see this anyway. Nobody's right. going to see this. I'm comfortably numb. It could be numb. online. It'll be funny for me. <laughs> comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. <laughs> comfortably numb. <laughs> Well, as Sally said earlier, and this is what I say every week. I love her. Man. I, oh, me too. Thank man. you, Sally, for calling. And Alex for calling as well. Yes. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for listening. It seems that all good things must come to an end. But my ass will be back next week. Same time, same channel. I'll be downloading all my shows on my website, which is www.dfhstudios.com. Or you can check them out on YouTube. Type in DFH Studios, one word, and you will get them all. If you have any comments, suggestions, or topics for the show, email me at dfhstudios at hotmail.com. You can also join my Facebook page for funny pics and constant updates. Facebook.com slash dfhstudios. We should make a page for you, Gary. <laughs> Gary yes. the drunk. <laughs> I'm also on Twitter at Del Morgado Show. I want to thank Mr. Gary Labar, the great and powerful Gary Labar. Say goodnight. To everybody at home, Gary Labar, you I, I want to say good night and thank you, Dale Joden, for writing in. He said oh. it was a great show. Was oh, hilarious. thank you, Dale. Oh, we got to get Dale on my show. Yeah, already. Dale's <laughs> great. He's awesome, man. Dale's thank you, Dale. Great. I especially want to thank each and every one of you for listening and hope that you tune in next week. I want to wish you all a good night, baby. Yeah! My name is Del Morgado, and you've been listening to The Del Morgado Show right here. On Reality Radio 101!